The Never Again movement taking center stage on Capitol Hill today. Students from Stoneman Douglas and Miami Northwestern, they joined forces to deliver a strong message to lawmakers. Our DC Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo was right there. Ross is live now with more for us. Ross. Well, Lauren Calvin, at least one of these students has been up here six times in the 98 days since the Parkland shooting, but yet very little up here has happened legislatively. Today, these students all had plenty to say. When I was younger, I used to love to count sheep to help me fall asleep. But now, I lay in the bed and count the shots that frequently rang out. One by one. There are times when I don't feel safe. South Florida students told their stories. I remember hearing the gunshots and screams while being in that closet. And although they knew it would help, everyone listening knew it still hurt. The reason why we're here is despicable. Although upset and angry, they were here to take action, speaking not just to local lawmakers like Federica Wilson and Ted Deutsch, but to national leaders like Nancy Pelosi. All we got were therapy dogs, and I love dogs, and I like petting them, but they're not making me get over the fact that I saw dead children. In nearly 100 days since the Parkland shooting, little has been done. Small measures like grant money to help schools has passed in the federal budget. But major items like universal background checks, although floated by the president himself, have not happened. Universal background checks. Anybody who says they don't, they're supporting their constituents by not voting for that or not supporting that, is lying. South Florida lawmakers have tried again and again introducing measures to do just that, but there simply isn't enough political will. There are just too many damn guns in America. Today we're going to listen to the children and thank you so much to all of you and especially to the press for coming today. Well, speaking of political will, a large part of that meeting was actually focused on House Speaker Paul Ryan luring Calvin. That's where lawmakers and students believe the problem is that Ryan just does not have the political will to put one of these measures up for a vote. A large part of the measures that the Florida delegation has come up with, these anti-gun safety measures, have not even had one vote. And Ross, we have to ask you, just last night you were interviewing Kellyanne Conway and she just grabbed your microphone. Any fallout or reaction to that today? Well, you know, I haven't heard from Kellyanne Conway, uh, at least not yet, but as you saw, she did grab the microphone, and this is really just a great example of exactly how this administration has been treating journalists. Just yesterday at an EPA summit, CNN barred, AP barred one reporter claiming that she was thrown out of there again. Today, at the second day of the summit, this uh, CNN reporter was not allowed in, and uh, Lauren Calvin, this just keeps continuing out here in Washington. All right, no doubt you're going to get even more reaction to that that has gone viral. Ross Palumbo live on Capitol Hill.